Psalm 66 says, Shout for joy all the earth. Sing the glory of his name. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Come and see what God has done. This is the day that you have been counting towards for the past several months. And it's the day that the community of people that you love are here uh, together cheering you on. It's the day where the two families genuinely become one. of you entering into this marriage covenant, I would encourage you to remember it's not a contract. A contract is some type of obligation that says, if you do for me, then I will do for you. But this is more of a covenant which states, I will give anything for you. I'll, I'll, it's my pleasure, I will sacrifice all for you, your needs above my own. This covenant love is displayed in three primary actions. One is sacrifice, right? And so what we see in Ephesians is, Nick, you are called to love Jordan as Christ has loved the church. So ready, eager, willing to daily put her needs above your own. Today is the biggest day of our lives and everything that has led to this moment has made us who we are both as individuals and as a couple. I love the life that we have built together and I am incredibly honored to become your wife. I promise to love you each day and every day to the fullest. I promise to stop and appreciate the big and the little things in life. I promise to listen when you speak. I promise to pause and reflect as we continue to grow together. You are the man I've always dreamed of and I cannot wait to call you my husband. As we take this tremendous next step, I commit to continuing to show up for you for myself and for our family. Being with you is truly the joy of my life. Today feels different, yet familiar, and I have been looking forward to it for my entire life. I will love you wholeheartedly until the end of time. I'm so excited that we finally made it to this day. For almost all of the nine years we've been together, I've known that this is exactly where we'd be. Standing together, side by side, in front of all of our friends, family, and loved ones about to take the biggest leap forward in our lives. I can't believe I get to spend the rest of my life with you, growing with you, loving you, and taking on every challenge that comes our way together. Every day of these nine years have been a joy with you, and now we get to celebrate each other every day for the rest of our lives. I love you with my whole heart. Nick. Jordan, it is my honor, it is my privilege before these people and King Jesus himself that I pronounce you to be husband and wife. Nick, you may kiss your butt. When I think of these two, I think about two words to describe them. Number one is love and respect. 
These two individuals love each other more than you'll ever know, and I think you could see it just when they were doing their vows. And they respect one another, and that's part of the reason why they love each other so much. Now, I don't know how this is gonna go for the rest of their lives, because if you've ever met or hung out with Jordan and Nick, they're both always right. But somebody has gotta be wrong. So Nick, just letting you know, you're gonna have to give in because Jordan will fight you tooth and nail down to the end. We are so excited to see how you grow together as a couple and just excited to be on this journey with you. We love you more than you will ever know, both of you.